हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू मई नगे के चैनल आई होप यू ऑल हैविंग अ गुड डे फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर अबाउट टू जॉइन और यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू जॉइन एम एट यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर बी एस सी नॉटिकल साइंस देन यू शूड और आई से यू मस्ट हैव ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट मस्ट सपोर्ट यूर डिसीजन ऑफ चूजिंग एम एट यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर पर्टिकुलरली बी एस सी नॉटिकल साइंस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट स्कॉलरशिप द प्लेसमेंट कंपनीज विच विजिट एम एट यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स and also about stcw details what sir kind of certificates you will be getting yes. see it's not about spending lakhs of money for that 3 year course your family can earn the money back in 5 years 10 years 15 years 20 years or 25 years but what matters here is the age and time that a candidate is going to spend i mean you are going to spend in amit university for 3 years so you should have some basic informations that must support your decision and uh, it's about the age and basically it's about the age and time that you can never earn back in your whole life so in this video i am going to give you some information watch the video till end and uh, one more thing no one is going to give you this much information together and that also on this platform i mean on youtube so let's start starting from the eligibility criteria application form what is the cost of application form and uh, what should be your right approach a right approach to a right career is the most important thing that a student should uh, face in his life and uh, there is a lab called shimanship lab and i know it might be a strange name for all you guys but trust me it plays a vital role in your candidate period how i will tell you in this video and one more thing guys it really takes a lot of time to collect the information assemble it and uh, present it uh, in such a way so that you can have the information as well as you can enjoy watching it so please subscribe to my channel it uh, makes me more confident tap the bell icon so that you will be notified every time i upload this kind of informational video and the moment you think that yes this information was very much needed for you drop a like uh, it takes a second or so i don't think it takes a second also so let's start uh, from the eligibility criteria student must be qualified in plus 12 and uh, he should be having pcm group with a minimum requirement of 60% and uh, he should be having a 50% minimum 50% in english to come under the eligibility criteria and uh, one more notice i would like to give you guys that for this year only according to the circular released by dg shipping the eligibility criteria of pcm has been minimized by 1% that means for this year only the requirement is 59% in pcm and the application form will cost you near about 1000 rupees in 2020 year and if you talk about the age the minimum age is 18 and the maximum age is 25 if you calculate the maximum age that means at the day when the course is about to start you just need to check on that day you are 25 or 26 if you are 25 then definitely you are uh, eligible and if you are 26 on that particular date then uh, bad luck bro you are not uh, eligible and if you talk about eyesight then it should be 6 by 6 in your better eye i mean 6 by 6 is the perfect one and in case if one of your eyesight is not perfect then it can be taken under consideration only up to 6 by 9 if your eyesight is bad more than 6 by 9 then uh, you are in problem and uh, you have to consult dg shipping approved doctor for the eyesight and all and if i talk about the application form i already told you it will cost you near about 1000 rupees and the mode of selection then three phases will be there like uh, first one will be written second one will be personal interview and the third one will be medical examination in medical examination they are going to check your uh, blood level sugar and ecg will be there x ray and uh, almost uh, each and everything will be checked whether you had surgeries in your uh, life earlier or you had any accident you had any bone crack or something in your physical body and all and one more thing the best doubt i have come across that the students are having these days are see there are two tests if you want to take admission in amit university then you have to appear for amit cet it is not for musk sponsorship like if you want musk sponsorship for bsc in nautical science then yes option is available for you but for that you have to give amit cet as well as exam for musk sponsorship like uh, for musk they are taking two tests first round will be pi test and li test 
and the second round will be tech round and HR round. I have already made a video on this, a detailed video. At the end of this video, you will get that video. You can watch that. You will have all the information regarding Musk sponsorship. According to my opinion, you should check if you are eligible and you must apply for that. It's a better option, at least for now in India and that also for BSc nautical science. And if we talk about the fees, then it will cost you near about 3.5 lakhs per annum. That means at the end of uh, three years, it will cost you near about 11 lakhs or 11.5 lakhs or so. And uh, if you are colorblind, then sorry, you are not at all allowed. And Amit University has a better hostel arrangement. I mean, best hostel arrangement for both girls and boys. So I hope you understand that both boys and girls can apply in this university. Now let's come up on the scholarship options that a student can uh, take the benefit of and which comes under this university. See, there are basically two kinds of scholarship available in this university for the students who are about to join the nautical science course. I mean, BSc in nautical science. The first kind of scholarship is provided by Tamil Nadu government and the second kind of scholarship is given by Amit University itself. So let's talk about the first kind of scholarship. That scholarship is only for the students who belong to minority community. Like and there are some, I mean two eligibility criteria. The first one is the candidate itself, I mean he and his family must belong to minority community and uh, second one if his father is in private job then his annual income should not exceed more than 2 lakhs and if his father is in government job then his father's annual income i mean salary annual salary must not exceed more than 2.5 lakhs now the question is what should be your approach i mean what should you do to take the benefit of uh, that scholarship then you just uh, simply have to ask the administration department for that application form just tell them that you want the application form regarding your scholarship they will give you the application form fill it with the relevant details and give it back to them but how it works see they will send it to the transfer it to the Tamil Nadu government the department which takes care of scholarship and all these things they will uh, cross check and in case if your uh, application gets approved then the amount will be definitely coming into your bank details now three certificates you will have to provide along with the application form the first one is income certificate the second one is that uh, caste certificate which will be as a proof that you belong to minority community and the third one is bank details including your account number ifsc code branch code branch name okay so these are the papers you will require now come on to the scholarship which is provided by Amit University. See Amit University itself provides a lot of scholarships for students. If you are a single parent child then I mean if you are only with mother or uh, then you will have scholarship. If you are a girl child if you will you will get scholarship. If your father is an ex serviceman or your mother is an ex serviceman I mean they have been in defensive services then uh, you can take the benefit of scholarship and uh, if you are first degree graduate then also you have a scholarship option if you are unable to pay your uh, i mean your tuition fees and all then also they have a scholarship options available for you for this option i will make a separate video so that you can have all the information how much concession you will be getting and uh, how much is will be your fees i mean how much concession you will be getting on your fees each and everything i'll make a separate video and this is the reason i ask you guys to tap the bell icon so that whenever i make this kind of video and i upload you you get the message instantly i mean not a message a notification so now let's come on to seamanship lab so what you will learn basically in seamanship lab so this is the lab if you don't pay any attention in you that three year course then definitely you should note it down that you are going to have a tough cadetship period on board because in this seamanship lab you are going to have all the information regarding operational knowledge how you can work on deck how you can uh, what are the operations that uh, we have to make i mean cadets have to or you cadets have to make uh, before anchoring what are the steps taken before mooring and what are the uses of ropes what kind of ropes what are the kind of knots that we make while anchoring mooring or while working aloft 
see there are many things you are going to learn in this seamanship lab like if when a pilot comes on board then how to rig a pilot ladder what are the kinds of ladder what are the kinds of measurement what are the measurement even you will learn the measurement of each stair whether it's made of wood rubber or whatever else you will get to learn you will know about the cranes whatever cranes are working on board what cranes are used for which particular work and there are many details that you will get from the persons and the faculties there will be experienced bosons and able-bodied seamen uh, see they have worked a lot in their life so they might be a little bit rude to you but what but if you pay attention if you win their heart you are definitely going to get a lot of information it doesn't see it doesn't goes like that they had, uh, they have scolded you a day and you are like i'll sit in the back and i will avoid that person because he's not good and all the more you will come in contact with that person the more you will win him the more information you will have and uh, you will even learn about the flags you know many times flags a to z each alphabet has a flag like a for alpha b for bravo g c for charlie for if i say bravo is for dangerous good if a vessel is carrying dangerous good uh, bravo flag is hoisted while uh, taking in the oils and taking out uh, bravo flag is hoisted on which part of the ship that flag is hoisted you will even learn that so these are the details i'm not going that much deep in that three year course you are going to have a lot of information just stick to the faculties try to take as much knowledge you can you will get many practical things okay you will get ropes you will get ladders you will get all the instruments you will get fire extinguishers you will get the use of different helmets we will get to know the use of anchor chains in detail video how to assemble the anchor chain how to disassemble the anchor chain each and everything we are going to learn now let's come upon the stcw course see basically uh, you will be facing five courses which comes under basic stcw which is necessary for working on board it's necessary for each and everyone who are going to work on board and it doesn't matter with the course because this five basic courses each and everyone have to face so starting from the first course is efa elementary first aid then fpff fire prevention and firefighting then phd personal survival techniques then psr personal safety and social responsibilities and the last one is st 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 social uh, security something like uh, security training for seafarer with uh, designated security duties so the first course for the very first course which i have uh, told you guys you will be receiving only one certificate and the last course which is stsd security training for seafarer with designated security duties for the this last course you will be receiving one certificate that means all total you will be receiving only two certificates for all that five courses i have mentioned earlier so you can't take this kind of i mean stcw courses casually for each course they will be giving you a book a single book i mean each book for each course and there will be practical and theory classes as well my advice and uh, if you take my advice like take it seriously it will be very kind you i mean it will keep you on keep you on top edge like when they give you the book just note down the important topics you can take pics you can scan it or you can just simply make a soft copy out of it because it will definitely help you while working on board see walking on board isn't a casual thing you have with the very first thing which matters is your safety and the safety of the other persons walking on board so you will learn in, in elementary first aid you will learn how to prevent fire which fire extinguisher is used to extinguish which kind of fire i mean all about extinguishers all about security how you'll have to do the security things each and everything you are going to learn in stcw now let's come upon the companies which visit this college for bsc nautical science students i mean to recruit the students from bsc nautical science a good count of companies come and uh, but that doesn't means that you will be paying a large amount of fees that means you will be getting a placement because see being frank to you guys i'm here to give information to you guys a very a two fact of the universities i'm going to give you so i would like to tell you that it's not like you are paying that much fees so you will get placement yes you will have to score good in semester you will get the chances of uh, different interviews of different companies you will have to crack it and you will get the job even after they are giving you the job you will have to keep an average marks in semesters otherwise you are going to lose that placement and uh, one more thing guys the companies 
the companies which many students ask for and the most important part of this video is there are different companies like Nike, Pill, Pacific International Lines, uh, APJ, Pentacrystal, Synergy and uh, Mosk for Mosk sponsorship you can watch the video this kind of there are many companies which comes according to their vacancies each and every year so what you'll have to do you'll just have to score good marks in semester will get the you'll have to crack the test you'll have to crack the interview and you'll be having a placement and for maintaining that placement we'll have to keep an average marks in each and every semester and keep your record of fees payment clear because sometimes company also do check the record of the students whether he is paying fees on time or not i basically i don't know about this of my own i am telling i still have a doubt on this topic keep it clear try to contact uh, the seniors for this and uh, this was all i could give you in this video so friends if you like this video please drop a like it makes me a little bit confident and do subscribe to my channel i'll be coming again and again with this kind of informational videos and so this was all uh, thank you for watching guys stay good stay fit